All right. So, um, before I have, just stick around for the matches because there's no way these matches that I have planned are not going to be absolutely hilariously hilarious. Wonderful describing. My English teachers will be proud of my vocabulary usage. All right. So, but firstly, I want to discuss a couple things. The first is what, like, was kind of good news, but then when, like, you actually think about it, it's just kind of like, eh, whatever. Probably nothing's gonna happen. Um, Atlas recently released a statement which basically said, hey, you know, we hear you in regards to your complaints about the netcode for King of Fighters 13. We hear you. We're gonna take what we've heard from you and bring it to SNK and see what they have to say. Now, obviously, at first you're like, yeah, the netcode's gonna be fi- uh, Fuck, that's right, Atlas has nothing to do with it, and SNK probably won't care. That was pretty much like my thought process. It was just like, SNK probably isn't gonna give a damn. So, I mean, you know, you can cross your fingers, but it seems like most of these companies are like, hey, our shit works in Japan, why don't you just get better internet, motherfuckers? So, yeah, because I mean, like, the games do work in Japan. This Neko works great. You know, like in Japan, in South Korea, you know, places where they have like, amazingly good internet. I mean, they have amazingly good internet combined with the fact that they are much more condensed. They are in a much more condensed area than, you know, us. Than United States of America, than Europe, than, you know, anywhere else. It's just like, well, no, I guess I can't really say Europe because Europe's a continent unlike everything else. But Japan's a very small place. South Korea's not a very big place. And they both have better available internet than we do. And so, like... It makes sense that the netcode's fine there, but it just, just it doesn't seem like they care. Like, hey, it works for us, it doesn't work for you. Oh well. So uh, that's kind of like that seems to be the general consensus across Japanese companies is that they just really they don't tend to give a fuck. Which you know, unfortunate, but whatever. That's pretty much how they've been, you know. All right, enough about that. So, I mean, that was kind of like, you know, here's hoping. I mean, obviously I can hope. I can cross my fingers, but I'm not going to be staying awake at night thinking, oh, man, SNK is going to, like, they're going to listen to Atlas because Atlas is fantastic. And they're going to listen and they're going to fix the netcode and blah, blah, blah. It's probably, they're probably not. I mean, realistically, they probably don't give a shit. But, uh, you know, you can always just, you know, cross your fingers and hope for the best. Um, and secondly, in regards to King of Fighters, don't be expecting any online shit from me. It's it's a waste of time, to be honest. Like, trying to search for a match, trying to, like, find... I mean, I've played... Shit, how long has it been since I actually started looking? I want to say it's been five or six days, somewhere between that, like, somewhere around basically a week. I've actually been trying to hop online and see if there are available matches. And in that week of time, I have played four matches. I have managed to play four matches... Two of them were three bar connections, one four bar connection, one two bar connection. The two three bar connections were actually fine. They were, I have no complaints about those connections. The four bar connection, oddly enough, was ass. I have, I have no idea why that was, but it was. And the two bar connection was absolutely unplayable. Like, the four bar connection was, you could tell there was input lag, but I could still kind of do the combos if I adjusted my timing properly, but usually I didn't. The, the two bar connection was just absolutely, entirely unplayable. It was miserable. So, um, I mean, and just that combined with the fact that there's really nobody to play. Like, every time I've checked, I have never seen more than three rooms. I have never seen more than three player match rooms. And I've never, I've played the one, the two bar connection actually was a ranked match that I decided to do. But, um, that's actually something I want to talk about in a bit. But yeah, it's just, it's a complete, it seems like a complete and utter waste of time. Like, I'm not going to learn anything doing it. I'm not going to get any better doing it. And most of the time, I'm just going to waste 15 minutes, like, sitting there kind of hitting start matchmaking on player match and hoping for a new room to pop up or creating a match and sitting for in practice mode for, like, 15 minutes while nobody joins. So I was just like, eh, whatever, fine, fuck it. I'll just stick with local shit since there is, you know, some weekly local shit going on for King of Fighters. Might as well. Um, so sorry if you were looking forward to that, but... I don't know, maybe some of you that are picking up King of Fighters that have Xbox Live, we could try to play and hope, you know, like, maybe the connection is good, but most of you that I am aware of are actually pretty far away from me, so I'm not exactly holding my breath on that. Um, what else? 
All right, so that the thing, one of my complaints actually, they did the player match, matchmaking fantastically. You have options to, you know, like change it out based on like how good they are. You know, like if they're really have a really good win percentage, and you're like, I don't, I only want to play like average people. It'll get rid of them. If it's a person who has a bad connection, like you only want to connect with people three bars and up, fantastic, you can do that. But then you go to ranked, and see like with this one, when you pick ranked and you try to join a match, it will keep you like in your own little room until it connects you with somebody. King of Fighters doesn't do that. If you try to connect to a room, there has to, somebody has to have gone through the create a room option. Now here's the problem with that, for people that do go through the create a room option. There is no option when you create a room to say, do not allow people that have like a two bar or a one bar connection to join me. You do not get that option. And it, when they do connect with you, you do not get the option of backing out. It's like old Blaze, it's like, it's basically like Blaze Blue um, Continuum Shifts matchmaking, but without the ability to say only people with this level of a connection or above can join. So that's where the two-bar connection came in. I just created a room so I could sit in a uh, player match, and then the two-bar connection joined. I'm like, ah, whatever, let's try. Like, I was like, all right, whatever. Everybody I've known has said two-bar connections are after. Let's just back out. Oh, you can't back out. All right, fuck it, let's try it. Oh, God, this is unplayable. So it's like there's no reason to play ranked because you're basically flip-tossing a coin when you're creating a room for other people that, like, are trying to be smart and only want X connection or above to join. Are they going to have a good connection, or are they going to have an ass connection? If they have a bad connection, too fucking bad, you can't back out. So, there's a flaw that hopefully, you know, hopefully maybe somebody brings it up that has more power than myself. And they fix that shit. But, okay, here we go. So now after all that rambling, let's get into a match. Let's show you my hilarious, actually I don't really, I have not thought through. So I don't care about connection for this hilarious idea, I don't. Connection will not matter. I highly doubt connection will matter for this idea. Alright, so. Character number one. Purple! Is, that, is he actually even... Oh, uh, no, he's like zombie. I actually like that one, though. Okay. That is... Buddy! Ah, uh, fuck that one. Oops. That one's fine. And... God, who else can I use? You know what? I should throw Phoenix Wright in there, except I, sh I need to not have... Hmm, I'm gonna have to think of a team with Phoenix Wright in it. I just don't know. I guess Wesker. Like, why the fuck not? It's Wesker. How is using Wesker as your third character not troll? Honestly, I, th I honestly think that I'm going to have to sit down and learn Wesker. To, like, counterpick other people that use Wesker. To be perfectly honest. Like, if they use Wesker as Anchor, I'm just going to have to use Wesker as Anchor. That is exactly what I hit! I take a fence! Fuck! <laughs> that is it? Okay, fuck you! Fuck off! Fuck you! Fuck your face! Thank you! Damn it, I keep, every single time I get that, after I do a jumping H, every single time I never mean to actually do that. The standing launcher, never once. Whoa! Hey, hey, fuck your mighty sparks, bitch! Oh god, what am I doing? I have never played this character and he's dead. Oh my god, is he dead? Dude, this motherfucker is dead. Are you serious? Fuck you, rocket raccoon! What the? Whatever, I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. I am holding down back. Does that move have landing recovery? Fuck. Okay, I threw him. Like, how is this motherfucker throwing me all this time? How the? Oh, bullshit! Okay, that's fucked up.
fucking stupid. That is stupid that he can X Factor out of that shit before my shit hits him. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Fuck you guys. That's retarded. Alright, so I feel like Rack and Raccoon went very well for me. I have no fucking clue how to play that character. I'll just be perfectly honest, I don't have a fucking clue how to play that character. I don't have a fucking clue how to play any of these goddamn characters. Bullshit, I air through him! Fuck! This game sucks. <laughs> The fuck, Rocket Raccoon? Yeah! Fuck. Oh, that didn't hit bullshit! Life sucks. Naz, bitch! Where was my air throw? Dude, this motherfucker's dead. Rocket Raccoon is going to fucking die. Okay. Does he have an OTG? I don't think he has an OTG. Nope. I'm buried, bitch! You can't get me, motherfucker! Oh, fuck. Fuck! Told you I don't have a goddamn clue how to play this fucking character. I didn't punish that bullshit. Why did I get hit? Does this even work? That sucks. No super armor? I'm kind of mad. I'm a little mad. I'm a little mad right now. How the fuck do I combo with this dude? This is bullshit! How do I combo with this guy? That's fine, I don't want to jump, it's all good. It ain't no thing. That came out so ridiculously late. Go ahead, do a bionic arm. I know you want it. I'm the best. I'm the best X Factor Wesker ever, and it didn't even it didn't even kill him. It didn't even kill him. <laughs> I think. I think. I think. I might need to actually work on Rocket Raccoon before I use him. Maybe. Possibly. What the fuck? How do you do combos with this dude? Do you know how to do combos with this dude? Because I don't know how to do combos with this dude. I do not understand. It's you or die. Fight! Okay, that's bullshit. I threw him. I threw him before his ass command grabbed me. I threw him before his ass hit me. You can spam that as much as you want, dude. It's not gonna hit Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> I mean, legit, seriously, spam that as much as you want. I'm the best. I, I 
legitimately feel like I'm the best. That he was under that! I call bullshit! I did not- mm. He's dead. This game sucks. Okay, good. That motherfucker died. I was gonna say that motherfucker done died. Oh, easy mode stuff. <laughs> oh, easy mode Wesker. How I love you. <laughs> oh God. Seriously, I really feel like I'm gonna have to learn Wesker. Potentially, just to beat everybody else that uses Wesker as their anchor. I really do feel like I'm gonna have to do that shit. Okay, well, if we're returning to Carol, let me see. Who do I wanna use? Okay, I'm gonna use Hulk. And then obviously, we gotta get Rocket Raccoon. Actually, wait a minute. No, that won't work. Hmm. Fuck it, we're gonna do it. Fuck it, we're gonna do it! I ain't scared. I ain't scared? <laughs> Are you serious? Really? You lose to my team of people out of a fucking clue who I'm using, and you switch to old Marvel what you asshole. Fuck you. This is what I think of your decision to pick your old Marvel team. You dumb motherfucker. Motherfuck, I suck. I ain't even mad. It's fine, I ain't even mad about that. Oops, I, pit I, got, I got the wrong dude, I got the wrong dude. Uh, I was supposed to be a pro, but whatever, I'll take it. This is what I think about your old fucking Marvel team, you dumb piece of shit. Bitch! What the? That's fine, that's fine, I ain't even mad! I ain't even mad about not getting a DHC, it's fine, I ain't even mad. This game sucks. I'm gonna lose to this horrible, horrible player solely because of Air X Factor being stupid. I have no idea what just happened right there. Oh. I will take it. I did not know that was how you did his level three. But I will fucking take it. <laughs> Why the fuck is- Oh, I'm so mad that hit me. I'm so mad you don't even know. Where did my ba- I just lost. I just lost to this dude. I just lost to this off- Okay, you know what? Fine. You know what? You want to do character select and roll back to you- Okay. You want Wolverine Akuma? You motherfucking want Wolverine Akuma? Let's do it. You want to roll with Wolverine Akuma? Let's roll with Wolverine fucking Akuma. Oh my god, I cannot believe this motherfucker just beat me. I'm so mad about Air X Factor, dude. Just because of that. Just because of that. I am so mad about Air X Factor. Just because of that shit. I even stole your color, bitch. How you like me now? Oops, I picked the wrong. I picked the wrong assist. Get ready for the fight of your life. 
Remember, this is how you wanted to play it. This is how you motherfucker wanted to play it. Let's do it, son. Man, if I if I lose here, oh, if I lose here, I'm gonna be so sad just because of all this shit that I just said, and I end up losing. <laughs> what a bitch! You're a bitch. That's the perfect ending to this video. I can't I cannot end that any better. What a fucking little bitch.